All right, pinball fans, I got a quick video today on how to add 10.8 32-bit to your uh, virtual pinball setup. If you're on the latest Baller installer, um, just realize that once you add this Baller, if you use the pin updater, Baller will not update 32-bit. So you'll have to manually uh, do this again later on down the road if you want to update your 32-bit setup. Okay? Um, so, first thing you need to do is we're going to go to the GitHub. I'll put the link down below the video. But you will need to log in, or and if you don't have a login, you'll need to um, make an account. But once you make an account and log in, you'll be able to see this stuff. Um, you're just going to click the one at the top. I'll send the link that I put below will be to the master list. Um, so then just click the very top one. Once you do that, you want to go down and you want to find V Pinball X 10.8, then whatever version it is, release Windows X86. That is 32-bit version of 10.8. Alright? We're not doing the GL32 or anything. We're just doing regular GX. Now, if for some reason you want to do the GL32, you could um, grab this uh, V Pinball GL um, you want the release one at the bottom. Do not grab any debug. You want the release, okay? So x86 is 32-bit, x64 is, of course, 64-bit, all right? So we're going to grab the um, V Pinball 10.8 release x86. I'm going to download that. All right, and so what I, what I suggest you do and make it easier for you. We're just going to right click and make a um, folder on your desktop. You can name it if you want, but you don't have to. I'm just going to make it a new folder. So we're going to open that up over here. Then all the files that's in this 32 bit, I'm going to drag them over. Okay? All right. Now you do not need the tables folder. If you go into it, you'll see it's just the um, test tables. You probably already have them installed a hundred times every time you update. Um, so I'm going to delete that. But right here, this vpinballx.exe is actually named the same as your 10.7 64-bit exe. So that's the reason we didn't want to put it into your folder yet. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, I'm going to rename, and I'm going to put 32. Alright? So now it's vpinball x32.exe. Okay? If for some reason you don't um, have uh, where it shows your file name extensions, you, you need to check that. It helps you a lot in the long run. But if not, it'll just say vpinball x32. Okay? So now we're going to go to our C drive, vpinball, visual pinball to our main folder here. And you should see all your other EXEs in here. Um, I already have a V Pinball X32 because I've, you know, I already use it. Um, a lot of you might want to use this for Ghostbusters or something. So all you do is grab all these and drag them in. That's it. I'm going to replace. Okay. And that's it. So if you want to add that to your pinup popper, you are going to go to the pinup. We're going to go open the pinup popper config. You're going to go to the um, games manager. And then we're going to go to lookups. And basically you need to add that to this list here. And it needs to be the full name. So it's V pinball x32.exe just like that all right so once you add that you're going to hit save list so then when you go back to your all games if you wanted to um, just whatever table you want to run with that you click it you would go down here to your all alternate launch and then you'll see that one show up so v pinball x32 if you want that table to run with that, that's all you need to do and hit save. Okay? So. There you go.
go. Alright, hope that helps you guys out. Till next time.